Well, I've been thinking. If we take a look back at every arc in the Dragon Ball Super history, they ended with the same plot point, and that is the main villain of that set arc fighting the main character, Goku. And at that moment, he tries one more time to surpass his limit. The Battle of Gods, Frieza, the Trunks timeline might be an exception, but the Tournament of Power, the Universe 6 tournament, Moro, every arc ended with Goku either surpassing his limit or trying to. And now when the newest chapter of the Dragon Ball Super manga dropped, we've seen something familiar. At the end, the main villain surpassed everyone and he became the strongest in the universe. At that moment, Vegeta failed, Granola failed, and now this guy sees in Goku not just an enemy, but the son of the one who he fought way back in the past, the one who he lost to, he sees in him, Bardock. And that's the main reason that he even got his consciousness back, the main reason why Gas became this strong, he wished and is also with his own power the strongest in the universe. Also, Goku didn't use Ultra Instinct in this arc that much, even though at the beginning he perfected it, he mastered it, and started honing it more and more. He started getting the hang of it, but till now we didn't see it a lot. Even when he used it, he lost with it. And since we know how it all goes, the time where Goku will surpass everyone is coming. Not just because this is how it always went, because the story is about him, is about his struggle, his dream of becoming the strongest ever. And the time to surpass everyone is now, to show Vegeta what an angel is, like how Vegeta showed him what a god of destruction is, to show Granola that there's another way for you to surpass everyone, for you to become that being that everyone looks up to. And this wouldn't be the first time it's happening. It happened with future trunks, where Goku, Gohan, and the others showed him that the future could change. If you trained enough, worked hard enough, you can surpass your limits, and you can save everyone you love. If we take a look also at the times the Dragon Ball actually ended with Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT. They both ended in the same way. Dragon Ball Z ended after 10 years of the Po arc, where Goku at that moment was the strongest. He had the Super Saiyan 3 form, and there was no threat or no being who surpassed him at that point. Go back to Dragon Ball GT, it also ended with him leaving with Shinran as no evil remained. No one who is stronger than Arsan actually remained. That's when it all ended. So the track record of every Dragon Ball ending was when the Saiyan surpasses everyone and becomes stronger than them all. He fulfills his dream at that moment. And that moment is the actual ending that he always wanted. But what happens when Goku surpasses everyone? He fulfills his dream. Let's say he leaves with Shinran again or something else or he goes to live with Zeno. What happens next? Well, there's a couple of mangas that dive into that subject or fan mangas. And one of them called Dragon Ball Centuries. It takes place a hundred years after Goku. In this timeline, Goku's junior is the hero of the story. The manga is actually very interesting, I once covered it, I will leave the link in the description if you want to see it. But with this manga you can see a Dragon Ball war without Goku being in it. His great great grandson is the one taking the charge and even after him there's Gohan, there's Goten, there's Trunks, there's more people who can take his place but no one will actually fulfill it, no one will be like him because he is special. There is another story which depicts the time that Goku surpasses everyone, depicts the events of a world where he achieves his ultimate form, the last form that he needs, the last form to surpass even the gods, and the story where he faces someone, that someone is on par with him, 
he achieves the Super Saiyan 5 form or even a form beyond it. His battle could be felt across every multiverse and every universe in a manga called Dragon Ball Power. And in it, you can see a form that defines the Saiyan, the Super Saiyan 5 form. In this state, he is the strongest and he surpasses everyone. The story doesn't end, it keeps on going. And now we are at a point in the manga where he needs to step up and reach this next milestone to prove to himself, to Vegeta, to Whis and to Pierce that his ultra instinct is enough and that it can protect everyone. Because now there is no hope left. Granola is weakened, Vegeta is weakened, there is no Sinzopines, there is nothing. And now Gas reached his highest point, the highest point of power, so he needs to step up to become the ultimate Saiyan, show us the time that he surpasses everyone. An interesting point brought up by Dragon Ball Heroes was when Goku ascended to the Daishinkan's power. In this anime of Dragon Ball, he became the strongest ever. No mortal was on par with him, no mortal can surpass him. And this point of him becoming this being who has the power of not just Ultra Instinct, but the Daishinkan himself isn't far-fetched. You always wanted to see him surpass everyone. And well, when you surpass every mortal there is, what's next? You have the angels, but above the angels you have the Daishinkan, and above him you have Zeno. So he needs to go through those powers and go to limits of surpassing those powers. Only then will he achieve what he always dreamed of. And for everyone thinking that it's years from now, well, maybe. But being far away doesn't mean that it won't happen. I'm pretty confident that if Dragon Ball goes on for many years to come, this will be the route that they take. Or making him achieve a power that can rival that of the Daishinkan. Or this, or just call Broly, even though technically he's not the strongest in the universe, just get him there, let him fight Gas, let Gas beat him up a bit, he gets his boost of power, beats Gas, and everything is fine. That or Goku just surpasses everyone, like I said. Nonetheless, yeah, tell me what do you all think. What do you all think there is left? What's there to do to beat this guy? And how do you see the future of Dragon Ball going like? I hope you're safe. And yeah, watch anime, read manga. Nonetheless, yeah, I hope you're safe. And I will see you, hopefully, on the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.